guys, I just wanted to quickly share with you how I keep all of our cloth diapers stored and organized here in my son's bedroom. I did recently just post a video giving a detailed look at what our one size and bigger size cloth diaper stash consists of. So I'll go ahead and link that down below for you if you want to have a have a look at that. But yeah, this is pretty straightforward. We've got a change table here in the corner of his bedroom where I keep quite a bit of stuff. I have this little cart, a little Ikea cart that I got from my mother-in-law. It's pretty handy. I use it for, I've used it for a few different things over the years, but it works wonders for a diaper, cloth diaper organization, hence why you see so many people using them on Pinterest and YouTube and all the fun stuff. But anyways, top shelf here, I keep all of our um, all the ones and pocket diapers and stuff that we really like right now, ones that we grab for all the time. Um, nice quick access there on the top. On the second shelf, again, more all-in-ones and pockets and things like that. I think these are actually, yeah, mostly all pockets. But anyways, um, ones that I'm just not particularly fond of anymore, ones that he's outgrown or starting to outgrown, but haven't really figured out if I want to store them or not yet or get rid of them. So anyways, but nice to have them out in case I do need them for whatever reason. On the bottom shelf, I have all of our fitteds. Again, don't use those a ton anymore, but nice to have them out in case I decide to use them. On the other side, on the bottom, I have um, a bunch of nighttime diapers made up. These are covers with a big um, uh, kind of pad folded absorbency inside them. So yeah, quick access for the nighttime diapers. On the change table itself, I have this uh, change pad and cover I think they're Munchkin brand, I don't know. I got them from Amazon, maybe I'll, if I can find them, I'll link them down below. Uh, topped with this little handmade uh, change pad that my husband's aunt made for us when he was born. But I don't wanna wash those all the time. He is kind of outgrowing that as he's gotten older, but nice to have a little pre-fold here just to catch a, catch a spill if I need to, or catch some mess. Um, and then on the shelves of the table itself, I have uh, some pad folded flats here, all my hemp boosters and little, little inserts. On this pile here is all of my bamboo boosters and small inserts, some stay dry um, fleece liners. And this little basket here is where I keep all of our covers. This is a really handy way to keep them stored. And they're not, they're just kind of rolled up and shoved in there. It looks really tidy, but it's actually not when you throw them in there. So yeah, handy little um, organization for that. The bottom here I have um, all of our bamboo prefolds on top of all of our cotton prefolds. In this bin here I keep all kinds of stuff. I have some smaller wet bags, some pale liners. I do have quite a few other small wet bags. They're kind of scattered all over the house and car and stuff. I use them for everything, but yeah, it's all my wet bags few disposables in case we need them, a couple of miscellaneous inserts that I just don't use or don't have a need for. Under here I think there's some um, new in the packages fleece liners that I just haven't needed to open yet. Underneath here is some a whole bunch of pad folded flats that I don't have a use for right now. Underneath this is a bunch of microfiber inserts that I don't currently use with our pocket diapers just because they're not a they don't meet our absorbency needs anymore so but I keep them stored there. This little wet bag hanging here I use as a garbage can. We don't have a ton of um, things that we throw away in here, but it is nice to have somewhere to put some stuff we need to, so that's really handy for that. Over here in his closet, I keep his laundry basket, and this is a garbage can that I use as a wet, or a pail, diaper pail, with a pail liner in it. It does have a, a lid that kind of swings but I was having a ton of stink issues and decided to start leaving the lid off of it for some good airflow. And oh my goodness, has it ever made a difference? If you're having some stink issues with your diaper pail, try leaving the lid off of it if you can, because it yeah made a huge difference for us. It, you'd think a bag of dirty diapers hanging out in the open would stink, but it really doesn't. So these two boxes of, or disposable diaper boxes have one of them's full of pre-folds that he's outgrown. The other one is, I think, his um, uh, newborn and small size diaper stash. I'll do a video about those uh, down the road. And then over here in the windowsill next to his change table, I have all of his little diapering needs. Here, I have a little pack of um, 
disposal wipes just in case because you never know sometimes I don't get the diapers folded right away and you find yourself in a bind and need need a wipe when there's none of these but this is what we use primarily is these little flannel cloth wipes I think these are they're bunnies and bumpkins brand there's a couple different kinds in here they're all really similar I've cut the tags off of the ones that had tags so you can't I can't tell but anyway it's just some little cheap flannel wipes they're not superb. They've lost a lot of their softness and they kind of, they can get a little scratchy, but like I said, they're really inexpensive. So, and we have, I don't know, probably close to a hundred of them scattered all over the place, but some those, this is some wipe solution that I make. It's water, baby shampoo, lavender essential oil, and I use probably, I don't know, this time I think I use grapeseed oil, but I usually use some olive oil in it and that's some homemade wipe solution. I do have a little bottle of water here that I'll use if he's up for the wipes on his face or if he's got a particularly bad rash and I just want um, to use only water on it. So anyways, cloth wipes and here's all kinds of goodies. Some diaper rash cream. I actually make that and uh, sell it. Um, this is the same stuff, but I didn't put it in a um, retail packaging. I just repurposed an old jam jar and made a big batch for myself. Some penitin, coconut oil, this little thing of baby shampoo that I use for my wipe solution, hand sanitizer. This is a repurposed little spray bottle for it's a little homemade uh, room spray I made, but I used, used to use it for his uh, diaper pail when I had stink all the time. So, some more um, zinc oxide diaper cream. This is, um, I can't get it to focus. This is an it's petroleum free, so I actually can use that with cloth diapering. I still do put a liner down just to be safe, but common misconception is that it's the zinc oxide that's not cloth diaper safe, but it's it, it's actually the petroleum base that's not cloth diaper safe. I'll maybe make a video down the road about, um, about diaper rash and diaper creams and things like that. Anyways, uh, this little jar here, I have my fasteners. There's a couple three size two snappies in here. In the bottom there's some pins and boingos. I've never cared for either of those, but they're there for just because I have them. Um, this little jar here, I have some little medical needs, nail clippers, polysporin, some Vaseline. This is from when he was in the hospital. He had a, a little um, cut on his head and uh, they gave us that to keep a barrier on it. Anyways, just some little stuff that I need for him sometimes, some Q-tips. Um, comb, nasal aspirator in this little pouch. If you don't have one of these, oh, this is the best $20 you'll probably ever spend. Really highly recommend those. This is some more non-petroleum petroleum jelly. Uh, I think I got it in a kit as a gift when he was born. He never use it. Um, and some baby lotion. So yeah, like I said, this is a little shelf with all of his kind of diapering needs. It's really nice to be able to have that all right handy. And so yeah, that's our cloth diapering setup. It works really well for us and yeah. there you have it. So as always, if you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel. If you have some tips for some cloth diapering storage or have any questions or anything like that, as always, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching.